So, what are your five basket ingredients this week? Okay, good morning and welcome to the Pocket Cooking Show. Let's see. Ah, we have corn tortillas. Oh, we have a jalapeno pepper. Oh, we have limes. Oh, tomatoes. Ah, oh, an avocado. Okay. Looks like a Cinco de Mayo week or something. I think that was Monday, but I guess we're celebrating it today. Well, looks like we need to start out with some salsa here. Alrighty. Let's see. I think I have some green onions. up some tomatoes. He's rolling. This little container I can throw everything in. Okay, well salsa or pick a degaya. We just toss everything in a bowl. You want all fresh ingredients. We'll have to see. I need some cilantro for this. To see if I have some in the fridge, I should. I'm definitely going to need that. Even my cameraman be so kind. Look at the bottom shelf. See if you can find me some pica de gaia. Or not pica de gaia. Um, cilantro, big green. I see salad. No, I think that's it in your hand. That's it. Alrighty, thank you. So for this, we're going to be using. Tomatoes. Oh, cameraman's favorite. I best get that out. We can't forget that. What's his favorite, everybody? Garlic! <laughs> we don't want to forget the garlic. box out here, huh? Okay. 
a lot of tomatoes for this. Gee, it's not too early for you, huh? Thank you. <laughs> Never too early for the garlic man. I want this to sit in the refrigerator all day and marinate, put all the flavors together. So we want tomatoes and onions and garlic and peppers and cilantro. And more garlic. Lime, more garlic. Never can have too much garlic. Coming up with smell vision. <laughs> Don't know, but I'll take some garlic with my garlic. <laughs> Alrighty. Another few inches, it would have been mine. Yeah, I was wondering if that's what the garlic was saying. 
Alrighty, oh these skins, they just sure do stick all over. Good to have a wet paper towel handy. Got the little brown ends. Okay. Oh, that's going to make the cameraman happy. Happy, mm -hmm. happy, happy. That little one get down there. I don't want those. Sure, you got enough garlic? Well, I might have to put more in here, who knows? <laughs> okay. Alrighty, so I'm going to cut up my pepper and let me just squeeze a lime in here. 
and my cilantro. And then we're going to take a little break here. Got my little lime squeezer zester. There we go. Okay. Lots of zest in here, lots of cilantro in there. Alrighty. And the pepper, we're just going to use a little bit of this pepper. We don't want the whole thing. Okay. So I'm going to continue chopping up this and putting some more lime zest in there, and we'll be back a little bit later. Okay, welcome back to the Bobcat Cooking Show. Hope you all watch Facebook and gave us a thumbs up. And uh, while we were away, I uh, put together some jicama here. It wasn't in my basket, but since we're doing the Mexican, so we have uh, like fry style jicama and some lemon juice and some. Uh, Vinegar and cilantro and a little bit of cayenne uh, pepper for some heat. Uh, looks like somebody wants one. See. Si. <laughs> so we're gonna stick this in the refrigerator mm. while we do the other stuff. What do you think? Mm -hmm. Like it? Mm -hmm. See. Si. Hmm. <laughs> what? Good. Good. Bueno. <laughs> Alrighty, so we have our portal or <laughs> mortar and pestle here, and that's how I like to do my avocado. Slice it in half, make some dices here. Ooh, that has a kick to it. Yeah, it's supposed to. Supposed to have a kick. I like it. Mm. Okay. Alrighty, I need a spoon. Okay. So nice and ripe. So we are going to. Smash this up a bit. And from there, we're going to throw them in this bowl since this is not big enough for all of it that I'm going to be making. But I do like to smash it up a little bit in here first. The only green thing that I absolutely love. <laughs> and I have some uh, oil over here cooking, no trans fat. And that is going to be for our tortillas, which I have here, which we are going to cut up in quarters and deep fry those. We want that to be at least 350 degrees. And I have a candy thermometer that I use to uh, check that out to make sure that the temperature is up there. And if you save your pits with your avocado, it will help in turning, not turning your avocado brown. We have avocado that's turned brown because you didn't put no pit or some lime juice in there. Okay, we'll just coarsely chop that. And at this point, I'm going to cut up a lime, put in there. And one other thing I like to do is I like to zest a little lime in there. I like the flavor of the lime zest. Just one roll, because you don't want the white on the lime, because that becomes bitter. Alrighty. 
so we don't want this turning. So let's just put a little bit of lime juice in here. Let's put it in there. <laughs> And now, if you don't have a lot of juice in your lime, you can put your lime in the microwave for five seconds or so, and it will help release those juices. I'm going to do another one here. I'll show you what I mean. Because I'm going to zap this one in there for just a few seconds. You can also roll it, but we're going to zip it in there for five, five, ten seconds. Okay, ten seconds in the microwave. Roll it and cut it. Let's see if we get a little more juice out of this. Yeah, there you go. Look at that. A little more juice came out of that one this time around. Oh, look at that. Perfect. And we have one. We need it a little bit. We have a lot of avocados here. It's good because I'm a lot of hungry. <laughs> if you squeeze it, see how nice that comes out when you quarter them, dice them a little bit. Cut it and twist it. Squares in there. Give it a squeeze. Top it out with a spoon. Got a lot of pits in this since we've got a lot of uh, guacamole. some lime juice on the bottom. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. And as you can see, there's some nice big chunks in there. Now, one other thing I like to do is when I make my salsa earlier today, I like to just kind of like take a scoop or two and pop it in my salsa. Or my uh, avocado, rather. That way I get my garlic in there, a little bit of tomato, some cilantro. We might end up adding more cilantro to it. Alrighty. Okay, we can stick this back in the refrigerator. All right, I want to leave the camera on. I'm going downstairs. Thanks for dinner. <laughs> okay.
Andale, andale. Oh, I'm working on it. I'm so <laughs> I am working on it. spots there on the end. Okay. Oh, it is just looking good. You'll be surprised how fast this will go. Question of the day. The what are leftovers? <laughs> yeah, you don't see too much of that around here. Good thing I like to cook, huh? Indeed. Good <laughs> thing I like to eat. <laughs> A nice fresh meal every day. Oh, you know, I made that... Uh, raspberry acorn squash yesterday and the raspberry salad which is out of this world and I made it quite a bit of sauce so it looks like this weekend I'll be doing some pancakes with some raspberry sauce syrup <laughs> since I have so much of it left Bob and I were talking about it last night. He said, oh, looks like we're going to have some pancakes this weekend. Yeah. That went right through. Trying to get that lobe out. That one was extremely ripe. Oh, look at that. Well, I think I have two more left here. And then we can get started on our tortilla shells. my finger. <laughs> Better be careful, you need that finger to cook. Yeah. And to tell people they're not driving properly. <laughs> well, I gotta say, I've been pretty good about uh, cuts. I don't remember one time. Yeah, 4th of July barbecue. Yeah. yeah. Where you thought it was funny. Yeah, the 4th of July <laughs> barbecue. Yeah, I think that's because I had a drink. You know I'm not used to that. <laughs> you were out there dancing. You were a bloody mess. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure I was. Figuratively I'm sure I and was. literally. <laughs> Still didn't prevent you from cooking like really, really good. Yeah. You had neighbors from down the street coming over wanting some. I remember going to bed at 8 o'clock that night. Hope <laughs> your mascot's back. Oh, you're kidding. <laughs> he took off because the farmer was out here planting. Looks like he's here for dinner. It's our little kitty. 
our little kitty that has adopted us. We have two indoor cats, but this little outdoor cat, who actually belongs to somebody, has adopted us, and he comes here every day and stays here 15, 16 hours a day. Comes for breakfast, stays all day and plays, visits my dogs, <laughs> visits our cats from the screen. So he has a good time here. Caught a bird and left it on the porch. Yeah, he did. He did that yesterday. Shame on him. I chastised <laughs> him for that. I went out there and told him, you don't mess with the birdies. Well, let's just bring you some birds to make some more chicken. Oh, this is a nice <laughs> sanctuary for the birds. It's a safe the bird haven flu. for the birds. I'm with the cat. Catch them all. Okay. Not a fan of birds. Alright, one more lime. And we are going to zap this one again because we need some more of that juice. And we're better. Alrighty. Okay, well I'm going to cut up this lime and I will be back in a few minutes to do our tortillas. Okay. Well, we used half of that lime in here, and I'm going to save the other half of the lime for our tortillas in case anybody wants to squeeze a little bit of lime on their tortillas. A couple of those there. Also can use lemon. Alrighty, I'm going to put this in the fridge. Put a wrapping on that. <laughs> Little thief. <laughs> Bob, where are you? You're going to miss it. <laughs> Let's put this in the fridge. I got room downstairs. I'll take it. <laughs> oh, I'm sure you will. <laughs> All right. Bob's home. Can we eat now? There you go. <laughs> yep. What's happening, huh? You must know I'm stealing food again. Okay. Let's make sure. I take my uh, tortillas and we cut them in half and we cut that half in half so you have quarters. So we're going to cut up a bunch of these while I'm waiting for that heat to rise and we'll get a bowl. Actually I can use this basket. I got a basket for me. Do you want to drain them? Looks like I need more paper towels. Alrighty. Well, it's at 260, so we'll just cut up some more of these.
Oh, that was so delicious, Bob. Uh, which one, the guacamole or which one? Both of it, all of it. It's gone. Uh, that was good. Got belly over here. Holy boy, what you do? <laughs> Couldn't wait for you. Ah, uh, how Michael doing today? Doing good, doing good. How's Bob? What about some crazy ingredients this week, huh? I didn't even bring any meat, did I? Nope. Not good, huh? So what did you decide to do with these crazy Ooh, things? Hi, here? baby. How's my sweet love? 81 degrees, though, I figured you didn't want Ooh. no meat to be cooking, you know? No, I'm already sweating. Yeah. I don't even have the oven on. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> oh, what do we got now? That oh, things making I've the watched. tortillas. Yeah, oh, tortilla okay. chips. Mm. We made some uh, guacamole. Oh, guacamole, yeah. That's we good. made some salsa. Salsa. Wow, that's going to be a nice cool dinner, huh? And I made some jicama. Jicama. I had that the other day. I, somebody told me to hold my breath. <laughs> For like 10 seconds. Hold your breath, you got the jicama. No, what's jicama? Jicama is like a crust between uh -oh. a potato and an gotcha. apple. Oh, uh, between a, uh, an apple, huh? Yeah. Isn't that like an uh, inter-fruits, yeah. inter-vegetable uh, relationship I going on so. there? Yeah, something, something like something that. There between a pear and an apple going on there. Uh, sounds a little fruity to me. <laughs> I see the farmer. I see we're going to be getting some corn out there. Yeah. Huh? yeah. Maybe we can make oh, some corn good news. Tears. Good news. Good news. Good I'm going to get the rotor tiller Saturday. Be out there ah. rotor tiller. Get our okay, garden. We got there. about 30 more degrees for it to heat up, and we'll be at our 350 temperature. Oh. Yeah. I'm just letting everybody know that you know you want your uh, oil, lard, or whatever your preference is, canola oil, that you're going to do your chips in. Right. And I'm using zero trans fat here. Right. And uh, and these don't take long. Like you only drop them in there for yep. what, maybe what uh, 15, 20 minutes tops. Huh? No, 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 no. No. <laughs> 20 seconds maybe. Oh, 20 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, it's real pretty, good. Oh, thank you. Yeah. So what are we going to plant the garden this year? Uh, what do you oh, plant? Oh, cucumbers, tomatoes. Ma, he compliments you on your hair. You don't compliment him back? Yeah, well, I, 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 I put a lot of work into his hair. I did. I put, I put it in a braid today. I got it in a braid. I don't want to go too crazy. I just flipped it like that. No. I just flipped mine, baby. I just tore it up. It was just oh, yeah. in my way, baby. In my yeah. way. How long was uh, I? I was thinking. Five more day. degrees. Five more degrees. In our garden this year, how hard oh. how, how hard would it be to grow a banana tree? <laughs> That's not happening, baby. Oh, it's not going to happen? That's yet. not going to happen. No monkeying uh, around this year? Okay, we are at 350 degrees. Oh, okay. So I like to take this out then because it gets in my way. I just want to make sure that my temperature is up there and periodically I will use it to make sure that it's still up there. So we're just going to drop a couple of these babies in. Oh, yeah, they, they sizzle up fast, huh? Yep, they got out fast. Oh, yeah. And what do you want them? Just like a golden just color? Just a little not golden. Not even golden, huh? Just like... Uh... See how it bubbles up? Yeah. And then you want to turn it. So you want to flip them over. I'll get the cheese. We're making homemade Doritos, right? Ooh, yeah, that's what, baby. Yeah. Ooh. Well, that's why I, you know, I figured we didn't... I was, you know what? I, I was gonna, thinking about bringing a turkey. And having the oven on for like six hours, yeah. But, uh, <laughs> 81 degrees on first day, huh? Yeah. It's not, yeah, I see the farmer out there. He's got the big tree. Oh, I see the kitty cats under the bench there. Huh? Yeah, he's back. I'm surprised he's back because the big truck was just here. But I guess he was hungry. See, look at that. Oh. What was that, about 20 seconds? Yeah. So oh. we're going to drop those in here. A few more, one at a time, so they don't stick together. Uh -huh. See how it bubbles up? It yeah. comes to the top. Oh, okay. Yeah, if you put them all in yeah. there, it's going to stick, Kathy. Well, they'll stick, but not only that, um, you will drop the temperature oh, of the oil. Okay. Yeah, I'm going to, you know, uh, while you're and doing then that, I'm going to. When these drain, uh -huh. you want to put a little salt on them while they're hot. Oh, okay. So I'm gonna continue doing yeah, this. Yeah, go wash up. You go wash your finger. I gotta wash my. Finger. I got ink on it today. Look at got ink on it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Okay. And we'll be back in a little bit. All right, sweetie. Yeah. Uh, what a what a dinner! What a dinner, 
Kathy. Yeah. Michael, were you surprised when no meat came out of the basket today? My you know what? You know what it was, babe? You know butcher. what it was? It was my feet. I never it made your feet. I, I never even made it back to the butcher shop. I got to the store and I got to the vegetable aisle. Is that the vegetable aisle? Yeah. <laughs> and I picked up yeah. uh, green apples, but it wasn't green, green. apples. <laughs> it wasn't green apples. It was, what, avocados uh, or something like avocado. that? Avocado. Yeah. So look at what we got. But these, these I bought little uh, chip things, so this is going to be good. This is a nice cool bitter, though, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's pretty hot out today, so. Here we got some jicama. Jicama. Yeah. We have a couple. Of now, what is that? A uh, uh, cross between the what? There's a cross between a potato and a... Apple, a green apple. Oh, did you marinate it in now? Uh, yeah, put it in a little bit of vinegar and some lemon. You can taste the lemon and the vinegar. And um, some cayenne. Mm -hmm. Some cayenne pepper, so it's got a little heat to it. Mm -hmm. Wow. That is good. Oh, look how nice and green that is. Oh wow, yeah, is that fresh? a lot of, lot of cilantro in there. Oh man! Now this took Lots. a while. This took a while to chop up, huh? Yeah, that took a while this morning to chop up. I got a little bit of sour cream here. Okay, somebody likes a little sour Boy, cream in there. Boy, that smell good. Yeah. Boy, you can almost smell everything that's in. Sour cream. Where's the uh, big potato? That oh. big potato. <laughs> Have it on here. Come on. It's good on the chips. Now, you keep the seeds in there. Why is that? I'll okay. keep the seeds in there to keep it from turning uh, brown. The avocado. Uh huh. The avocado will turn brown if you don't put the seeds or put lime in there. Is that right? Yeah. Wow. And there's nothing worse than wanting to eat no. brown avocado. Ugh. Yeah, see that? I, got the, I, I noticed that. At first, I thought it was one of my golf balls. I, 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 I was actually one of the seeds. I know I'm not a very good golfer. You know, I don't know. But, uh, <coughs> okay. Uh, well, so you keep see. that in there, and then it, it, yeah, I put a couple now, of them in there. Now, say we don't finish this all, which is very unlikely. Right. Because I can see the bottom of the ball, right? But now, if you were to put it away, say we had like a, a little less than half, would mm -hmm. you leave the seeds in there? And yeah. Then, and that would keep it from yeah, wrap it and. Uh, Toss it more in the lime. Oh, what? And these chips are looking like that. Right, so. Get a video look at of this because you'll never see me eat a uh, spoonful of green like this again. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> look, at, look at the chips. Yeah, the chips are nice and golden, golden. brown. I'll put some avocado mm. on the chip. Oh, this is a nice dinner. Mm -hmm. This mm. is a nice, mm. healthy dinner, huh, kid? Mm -hmm. You know, when I was, uh, Michael, when I was little, my mom always used to tell me, eat my spinach and put color in my cheeks. I says, yeah, but who wants green cheeks? <laughs> okay. I'm gonna try this though. Am I gonna get green cheese eating the avocado? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. No, I get red ones because you get happy. Oh, that's good. The happy cheeks. <laughs> oh, is that good? The flavor. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flavors are so, and that chip is just perfect. Mm, that chip perfect? It's just perfect. And what do you say, like 15, 20 seconds in the, mm. in the oil, huh? No longer than yeah. that, huh? Mm -hmm. Wow, this is delicious. Well, That's good. next week, five more ingredients. Yeah. I might go down different aisles. I mean, you know, I, got, I can't just stop in the vegetable aisle anymore. <laughs> but next week, five more ingredients. Mm -hmm. And watch us on the Bobcat Cooking Show. Give us a thumbs up. Like us, because we like you. Happy Cinco de Mayo.